Yeah, big old DP Josh here with Deprive Productions back in Quixel Mixer with a third tutorial. And this is going to be the last one we're going to do for, for, for a little while. We need to get back into UE4, but I want to show you guys how to import a model that has multiple materials through Blender. And that way you can export it and put it in UE4. But you need to have multiple materials. So when you go with your layers, you need to know which one you're working on, blah, blah, blah. Check it out. So what I've done is I've created a quick quick model. I'll go here to my, I'll go to here to my custom model, okay? And I'll just go to my desktop, which is loaded with all kind of stuff. And I have one called Test down here. Boom. You'll notice it's a ball in a box. So I got a ball in a box. I pulled it in from Blender. I mean, I just exported a ball in a box in Blender. If you click on this little, I'm on the second tab. You click on this little blue thing, aren't you? You're going to see a couple options right here to how you import or whatever, how you how you texture it. You got your single. From materials, it's going to pull any materials you created in Blender. Now, I didn't name them or anything, but if I'd have named them, it'd have pulled them in here, bro. By their name, homie. You know what I'm talking about? They got all these settings. Don't worry about it. The point is you have multiple materials now. Then check it out. If I press A, model select, I'm going to change the light a little bit. The change I'm not very happy with. Actually, you know what? It was fine where it was. If I press A, you'll notice that that's happening. You're like, what does that mean, bro? What does that mean? Go to layers, and what's happening? You got your first layer, okay, layer one. And you're deciding, if I press A, it's showing me which one I'm working on, right? All right, so we'll have the box here. So I'm going I'm to name this. I'm going to name it box, bro. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it box. I'm over here naming it box. Boom. Okay, I got it, and I can work on my box. Now, obviously, I can just add a material, and don't forget, we have several things you can do here. You definitely want to look at this solid layers, just a collar if you want, and then you can do into painting. We haven't talked about that. I'm just gonna pick a. We'll pick a. We'll pick something right now. We picked this last time, I think, in the last tutorial. We'll pick it again. Got the box with that thing on it. Okay, cool. Looking good. You know what I'm saying? Press A. You can see both models. Press A. It kind of like translucent the one you ain't working on, and then you go. You can you can grab your arrow, bring it up. Boom. I'm gonna do this another material set okay and i'm gonna name this new one i'm gonna name a i'm gonna name a ball bro ball now the thing is ball you can tell i'm still i'm still i'm still working on the wrong one let's do that okay we could continue working on the box if we want but now we're working on the box or the ball you know what i'm saying so if i click on this it'll go to the box click on that go to the ball go to the materials grab this blue thing right here add it to it and then i've got this thing materialized i go in a toy with it yay press a and boom now i've got myself uh a model with two different textures on it bro real simple super fast tutorial just want to make sure you guys understand how to do that you make a texture set here you are a, a, a set it's a layer set whatever you want to call it the point is a layer set you can name it what you need and then like i said you got your little arrows here to to drop down each one and see what's going on you can obviously still use your eyeballs and not see them but the point is what's cool is if you have a select if you a you press A to switch between toggling between seeing the whole mesh or just seeing what you're working on, what interior you're working on. If you have it set up like that, you can make sure based off these right here. And again, if you named it in Blender, it would have come through right. But I didn't do that, brah. I just uploaded it, you know what I mean, real fast. Or, or sorry, exported it, whatever you want to call it. All kind of words. <laughs> Uh, words that are big and large that I don't understand and I just use. So, you know, whatever. Guys, thanks for watching. Real quick, Josh with Proud Productions. Wanted to quickly show you how to do this. Now that you know how to do this, we can pretty much start doing our big tutorials when it comes to modeling in Blender, sending over here, texturing, then sending it to UE4, adding lighting, mastering the, the materials, and then adding any type of code and having full game-ready assets with this type of uh with these three programs so blender this and ue4 all being free i just want to point that out freaking insane just want to point that out but guys again thanks for watching real quick last quixel mixer tutorial for a little bit we'll jump back into it later if we need to cover anything but it's time to get back into unreal engine especially with under unreal engine 5 releasing more stuff we got a lot of cool stuff to learn and we've been really busy but i think it's about to calm down so thanks for being patient with y'all i know it's been like eight nine days since i put up a tutorial anyway last one appreciate you guys love you miss you see you back in the unreal engine soon. Peace.